Oh, aloha, and welcome to Hibachi Talk. <laughs> yeah. Gordo, the techs are here. Nice to see you guys joining us here for a lively session of uh, Hibachi Talk once again. So I feel like I've done this before. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, we had some technical difficulties earlier on, but we've got them solved. Anyway, please grab yourself a libation, pull up a chair, and join us. Uh, I have a uh, co-host in training today. Um, I guess that's a kit. Uh, Mr. Rick Maurer has um, um, decided to help us out because Andrew and I are jockeying around all the time. So um, he said he's going to give this a shot. So that's going to be great. And we have a lovely, a lovely vivacious, vivacious guest today, Mary Thank Maurer. You. Thanks. Nice to have you here, Mary. Thanks. Your names seem to be kind of the same. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you might be related. <laughs> I mean, he's old enough. He's old enough to be your great grandfather. So I mean. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm old enough to be your father. Oh yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> anyway, it's great to have you guys on the show. You got a terrific story to tell, which is really okay. kind of neat, and I hope mm -hmm. our, our uh, viewers can can learn from this and so on. Mm -hmm. So, but um, we always ask our guests, you know, this, this standard question to kind of get a sense of who you are. So, where did where did you go to school? Like, where did well, that start? Well, I'm from Oakland, California. I went to high school in Oakland. Went to the same high school as Tom Hanks. Oh wow! Uh -huh. uh, yeah, he was your prom date, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was cute even back then. <laughs> That's something new. <laughs> See, you learn something new on this show all the time. Um, and then uh, shout out to Laney Junior College, which is where I started, wow. um, down in the inner city of Oakland. I'll never forget it. It was probably even more memorable than finishing um, nursing school at Stanford At Stanford. University. It must yeah. have been an a, a inner, inner city school. Yeah. Yep. That must have been a kick and a half. It was. Yeah. Especially with someone with your shade. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Me and my sister. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Warm, warm we feeling. We still talk about it to Wow, this day. that's terrific. Mm -hmm. So, so, but you decided to get into nursing, right? Mm -hmm. So, but why, why nursing? Why not, um, now what would you get into in Oakland? <laughs> okay, never mind. That's mm -hmm. another story. But why nursing? Well, um, be, I, it's like any kid who's 18 or 19 years old trying to figure out what they want to do with their life that was me and i i just remember um sitting on the couch at home and reading a newspaper article about nursing mm -hmm. and um, it was a um it was just an autobiography of a girl who had chosen nursing as her career and i i just remember thinking that's it that's what i want to do so and then you That's went, what you I did. Even though the one person who tried to talk me out of it was my father. Oh, really? Was a physician. Yeah, Your dad was a physician? Said, yeah, yeah. It made sense because we had medicine in our family, but my dad is the one who said, no, Mary, they work way too hard. I hate to see you do that. But he couldn't talk me out of it. But nurses, but. nurses are such an essential part of what goes on. Oh yeah, so, but he knew firsthand how hard, how hard nurses so, were. So, so now you were involved, intimately involved. I love this term between fifteen thousand and twenty thousand yeah. babies, right? Yeah. You've been, mm -hmm. it, nice job, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm just yeah. tired thinking about it. <laughs> I used to have more hair. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe a good question is, why labor and delivery? Um, well, you're labor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's for sure. Anyway, why labor well, and delivery? Well, it's a labor of love. I started my career in intensive care at Stanford, and I I worked in various. Um, I worked in a outpatient clinic for several years when my kids were little, um, and, and and I knew from those experiences that I really liked. The emergency side of medicine. Mm. I liked that um, high um, um, anxiety type of, of um, hospital care. Yeah. And um, but then again, I also knew that I liked um, the maternal child aspect that I liked in nursing school. And then I, from having my own children, such a such an overwhelming life changing experience right, right. that I thought it would be really special to be part of that. And um, so I found out that labor and delivery, you com can combine emergency, intensive care, right. and then the normal childbearing type of, uh, of things. Care. So, so it's kind of cool, though, if you think about this, again, as a career. Mm -hmm. um, there's all kinds of options. Mm -hmm. Nursing wise, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. You right. can pick whatever mm -hmm. whatever rocks your socks, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, this <laughs> makes it really cool. Yeah, <laughs> not yeah. his. Yeah, <laughs> he got ten thousand, fifteen thousand, twenty thousand babies to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you can. Like our son is an RN and he's a psych nurse. That's he right. He works in a big psychiatric facility. Yeah. So. And he likes that. So That's something that I would never, ever, ever venture doing. I just but. can't imagine being in that. In that, yeah. well, I can imagine being a patient. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure yeah. about yeah. being the one on the yeah. other side of the fence. Yeah. There is a reason that the family does have a psych nurse in the family. I yeah. mean, it's got to take care of some of the other family members. Yes. Yeah, so much. So much for my co-host in training. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, so, so what, what is, so I got to ask this one question. I got a bunch of others, but I got, have you ever had a father faint? I mean, just always oh, think about this. About, yeah. always see this. Ever had a father you faint? You know, boy, yes, often, <laughs> often. Um, yeah, I've had fathers faint watching, you know, certain procedures being done on their um, wife or girlfriend uh, or um in the operating room, they fainted. But I have to say that in the past 10 years or so, where I work at Kapilani, we've gotten a better handle on, on mm. fathers fainting because we've- <laughs> You don't let them in. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we, we, there are certain procedures that they're not allowed in the room for. Okay. Um, and then uh, in the operating room, we just, um, don't let them in until certain procedures are done. And certain, th yeah. certain things yeah. are done. So it's, yeah. And so it's, 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 it's been, must be a tremendously rewarding. It has to it be. Is. It's it's remarkable. I can see the sparkle in your yeah. eye when you just yeah. say it. It's like yeah. it's, to, to it, imagine going to work and in within two minutes you can be um, part of that miracle with somebody of a life and holding happened. a oh, brand new baby. Up just it thinking does. About it makes it. you tear. And there, I still get tears in my eyes at certain times in deliveries. I used to all the time, but. Um. After 15,000? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but still, still, yeah. yeah. Wow. It's hard not to when everybody in the room is crying. Yeah, like they're, not they're pretty happy and so on. Well, back in my day, when uh -huh. my daughter was born, I wasn't allowed in the room. Really? So has technology changed that? Or what's enabled it to allow... <laughs> I probably uh, would have fainted. Uh, yeah. No, I wouldn't have, because I was there for grandson number one. Yeah. At Stanford, by yeah, the way. Yeah, so, yeah. So what's allowed? What's, what's allowed I think allowed just it? the... Um, just the whole women's movement and um, also the, the tendency towards more natural uh, family-oriented birth. Okay. Now, can you imagine the men's movement? I, I'm yeah. thinking of the men's <laughs> march to allow me into the OR. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine that? 10,000 men walking down, we want to be in the OR. We want <laughs> <laughs> it's it is funny because the poor guys they're still pretty timid about it. Yeah. St you still kind of wonder if they really want to do this, but they're putting up a good front to make their wife. Especially happy. the big guys. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. The, yeah. I like the tenant that I yeah. go in there. And go, yeah. let's uh -huh. that. So so you know thinking about of, of all these now were you in um, at Stanford? Were you in labor and delivery there? No, or? I I went right into the intensive care unit at okay. Stanford and took care of. Patients who had, most of them were there for heart surgery, okay. um, and took care of some of the very first heart transplant patients there. It kind of dates me, but they well, did. You know, it's very it exciting. You know. That's Learned why there's no, no, no. Remember the heart transplant in Loma Linda from the monkey? Oh yeah. Remember way yeah, back then? There used to be a too. standard joke. Why are there no monkeys in Loma Linda? Because <laughs> <laughs> there's surgeons chasing them all over town. <laughs> yeah, I still remember some of my patients from from that unit, some really brave people who underwent those first heart transplants. Yeah, and now it's like nothing. Yeah. I mean, I had a friend who was in um, for a stent mm -hmm. on last Wednesday. You know him. I won't name the name. I don't want to violate HIPAA. Uh -huh. So, um, but, but he went in for a stent, and he was working on, uh, like on Wednesday, and he was back to work on Thursday it's or amazing. Friday. Yeah. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. It's just amazing what the technology mm -hmm. the technology has done. Yeah. So, so thinking of the, the, the kind of thing, so what, what are some of the, um, the most interesting things that have happened in um, what the technology-wise happening within oh. the, 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 the yeah. L&D and things like that? Oh, well, nursing in general, hospital nursing. Yeah. You know, in nursing school and, was, and when I was first starting at Stanford, I used to hear, you know, that at, someday there'll be a computer at every bedside. Okay. And I remember thinking at that time, how could that possibly be? You know, that's not true. They're so big. They're, yeah, yeah, they're so big. And, they're, and you know, it's too far-fetched. That'll right. never happen. Right. But here we are today with a computer at every bedside. Um, so many computers on the at the nurses' station that we chart on and use. There's 
monitoring systems up on the walls where we can see what our patients are doing and not be in the room. Mm -hmm. and, There's and the, um, uh, all the drug um, pick systems yes, that you yeah, can track. Yeah, we, we um, now pull all of our medicines from a big gold machine. <laughs> yes, a big gold machine. <laughs> old machine. It make, yeah, yeah. Oh, he said yeah, old or gold? No, old. <laughs> a big, big old machine. A big gold making yeah. machine. <laughs> yeah. Can you say drug company? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, listen, well, we have this segment. I'm going to insert a segment because you know got one tech job. So mm -hmm. I'm just thinking, if you can imagine like what your expectations of I would be as a patient, whatever, and what mm -hmm. you're required to do, you know, what if someone else that was maybe not not as concerned <laughs> uh -huh. would do? So I have this segment called No, you know, got one tech oh, job. Oh, okay. And I take pictures around town. Uh -huh. So how's this one? Now check this out. So there's a tree growing outside of a, out of a pole mm -hmm. in downtown Honolulu. So now, do I take the tree out, or do I just put an orange cone there? <laughs> put an orange cone yeah. there. To protect, what, the pole or the tree? <laughs> Rick, I think it's the Joint Pole Committee. <laughs> yes. The you you spent some time as an appointee in the sitting and counting of Honolulu. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. And we would have a bit of a conversation about what really do we need to protect here. Yeah, that's right. And, and you know, the Parks Department would get involved. <laughs> So, but you, could you imagine if healthcare worked that way? Uh, well, I'm not sure. <laughs> no, you don't want to. Okay. It would scare the heck yeah. out of me. Yeah. So, anyway, so, but so, at least we've got a nice cone there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I hope they follow procurement law when they when they got it. So, <laughs> we come back to Mary. See, we get sidetracked. Well, yes. I, I you kind of notice that. Yeah. So, uh, you know, so that so you talk about you know the the. the the technology besides the beds and everything that's happened yeah. on that. So, so what about things like charging? I remember when nurses used to walk around with stickers you know, all over them. That <laughs> still happens. Not. And I see that and I think with all these, all these wonderful um, advancements that we've made, why are we still putting stickers on papers for charges? I don't get it. It's, so it's, I don't know. And so to, for our audience you to know? understand this, yeah. like something, someone orders a toothpaste, it's $180. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to be a smart ass, but the, well, there goes a little. Anyway, it's, it's smart okole. Yeah. So uh, go in there and you got to take the sticker off, off and put it on there. On, the, on a piece of paper yeah. that has their name and you know, all their information on yeah. it for charging. For charging yeah. for it. So, and then at the end of your shift, you go out to the desk with this paper with, you know, could be <laughs> 50 stickers on it. Yeah. And how many and on you? Yeah. Hey, wait, yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. there's one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. Eleanor, I forgot about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but why haven't they so that's figured one that's... out how to work, work that yet? I... And don't look at me because I, <laughs> I have that same frustration given my former history. But what I do need to say is that when Mary used to come home, that on her scrub she had stickers everywhere on her scrubs. <laughs> now, I will say this, with her current employer, she never comes back with any stickers. But she's not working anymore. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Working. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I just want to protect her from her yes, current employer. Very good. To be very clear yeah. that there are no yes. stickers on my on, on my on my person. When, and I do pick her up when yeah. you know. Yeah. So let's just be clear. I'm very careful. Local employers you're yeah. you're, you're okay with my bride on this one. I'm very careful with my stickers. I never, we never did mention he's, he's the fund meister. He's in charge of money. <laughs> no, that's right. In healthcare. Yeah, yeah. So, so this is awesome. So anyway, we're um, actually I think we're coming up on time for the um, um, the mid mid service break or whatever we okay. want to call this thing. So <laughs> um, anyway, we're sitting here with Mary Maurer. She's a BSN. At, from Stanford, now mm -hmm. working here at a local hospital mm -hmm. that doesn't have any stickers. <laughs> <laughs> if they do have stickers, they get put on the chart. They get put on the chart. It's been involved with the birth of some 15,000 to 20,000 mm -hmm. babies in this world. What a magnificent thing that is. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we'll come back and we'll talk some more about what's happening in the, in the tech side and we'll go get Angus. Okay. And I'm sure he's got some questions <laughs> for you. Anyway, go to the techs are. Rick's the uh, fundmeister here, and Mary Maurer will be back in a minute. <laughs>
Aloha and Haoli Makahiki Ho, which is Happy New Year, and I hope it's a happy and prosperous new year for you. I'm Kili'i Akina with the Grassroot Institute. Every week we partner with Think Tech Hawaii and produce a program called Ehana Kako. Let's work together. We bring together movers and shakers who are making a difference here in Hawaii, making a better Hawaii for everyone. If you're interested in improving the economy, the government, and society, join us every week on Mondays at 2 o'clock p.m., for Ehana Kako on the Think Tech Hawaii Broadcast Network. Until you see me then, aloha. Hello, this is Martin Despang. I want to get you excited about my new show, which is called Humane Architecture for Hawaii and Beyond. And it's going to be on Think Tech Hawaii from downtown Honolulu on Tuesday afternoons, 5 p.m. And we're going to talk about uh, to make architecture more inclusive on the islands, which is what hu which is one of the definitions of humane, which is being tolerant of uh, you know many people of nature, of many other influences. So we're going to have some great guests, like today's guest, for example, uh, my collaborator David Rockwood, who is the author of the awesome um, manifestation of uh, humane architecture in the background. So see you on Tuesdays, 5 p.m. I look forward to. You're watching Think Tech Hawaii, 25 talk shows by 25 dedicated hosts every week, helping us explore and understand the issues and events in and affecting our state. Great content for Hawaii from Think Tech. Welcome back. I'm Rich, the co-host and the, uh, the fundmeister. Uh, so, Gordo, we're, we're back, but we do have a security uh, tech that we want to bring out, and it's about FTP sites, and especially related to healthcare. You know, those can be very, very issue-laden, and with the HIPAA requirements, we really want to stay away from FTP sites. Uh, we want to especially keep our information in-house or on a very secure site, if not in-house. And we also want to make sure that we keep our HIPAA-related information encrypted. So we just go with that. But let me now also introduce and give it over to Angus. Welcome back, Angus. What do you got for us? How you doing, man? <laughs> hey, Manny, how you doing? Angus! Hey, good. I always wanted to be a gynecologist. <laughs> Can I touch your heart? <laughs> Don't come near me with that unless you're sterilized. <laughs> well, I'll sterilize it for sure. <laughs> so, hey, hey, how are you doing there, you nurse? You cannot touch I'm me. A, I'm a, a um, well-equipped nurse. I always carry my scissors, clamp, and tape. So good those, good thing I don't have lips. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be clapping my lips down. Ah, what do I do in innings? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I haven't touched my nurse. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, oh, is that new? Oh, thank you very much, Mary. You're such a wee lass. I love it. <laughs> anyway, I got, a, I got a couple of gadgets, and I went thematic this trip. Uh -huh. Yeah, thematic means. I tried to keep it the theme with, with the <laughs> okay. healthcare. So I found these two great gadgets. Uh -huh. You should get them for your house. So uh -huh. the first one is, how about bones turned into pens? <laughs> That's good. That's a great idea, yeah, right? Yeah. Can you imagine carrying them around the oar? <laughs> It'd be great. Especially when the fire is season, they start fading. <laughs> yeah. Again. But that's my favorite one, and you know, I do like my wee drama wine once in a while. <laughs> yeah. How about a, a, a wine cut off that's shaped like my intestines? <laughs> now, my intestines are a little bit more beat up than this, but yeah, that <laughs> works pretty good. So, is that what that is? That's okay. what that is. That'd be okay. pretty good. Yeah. Anyway, that's my gadgets of the week. And Manny, thank you so much. You sure you don't want me to get check your pulse? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I know it's tachycardic right now. So it's what? Yeah. <laughs> you can attack my card. <laughs> I'll attack your card in a minute. <laughs> anyway, I gotta let the show before it gets out of control. I gotta yeah. turn it back to the fun meister uh, after I say, say my aloha. <laughs> anyway, let me say it at the end of every show. <laughs> then it touched my heart. Anyway, let me touch it again. Let your wing game be where you be. Aloha. Sure you want this? <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much, Angus. We really appreciate that. <laughs> He's out of control. <laughs> well, he always sees that when he sees a nurse. It just what happens. Yeah. <laughs> thanks a lot, Mary. It's terrific. Anyway, we're talking with Mary Maurer. She's a BSN. She's been um, uh, in the um, healthcare industry for for a little bit while. And see, I, I guess Thank I did you. that. Yes, I did that. I see. And um, and we've talked about some of the things that ha have happened. You you getting into the industry, and how the industry has changed with technology. We talked about the billing and so on. But I find some things that are kind of really interesting. It's like, um, um, and there's a bunch I could talk about. What about now? Like when I knew, 
you knew what the, the sex of the baby was going to be when the baby was born. Uh -huh. Now, what about now with all of this stuff that goes on? Oh, wait, you know ahead of time. Beforehand. Be yeah, well, afterwards. Back in the day. Yeah, okay, back in the, back in the I day, never knew until, know, yeah, right. we didn't know. We didn't know, and, and I never had an ultrasound. I never w would have thought of having an ultrasound, but now it's just standard that that you get an ultrasound in the beginning of your pregnancy. And then you so do, a, do, do you find a lot that want to know um, that the baby's going to be a boy or a yeah, girl before? Yeah, most, most people seem to want to know. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, occasionally there's a, a, a surprise, which is kind of nice. I, I like to have the... Um, uh, no, I mean... A, a surprise? Like, oh, it's no. going to be a girl and it ends up being oh, a boy? Occasionally that happens. Oh, wow. But mostly it's just that a uh, woman will decide, no, don't tell me. I want to be surprised. I want to be at surprised the at the delivery. time. Yeah. yeah, one of my friends is, um, she's, um, I forget, she's about coming up on like six months now. So, uh -huh. um, And they had they had one of those little parties. Oh, where yeah, yeah. Like, that, where they don't know. Yeah, yeah. And they open a box yeah. and the balloons come out and uh -huh. say it's a boy or girl. Uh -huh. I'm just like, wow, have we, we've turned this into a money-making <laughs> <Exactly>. industry. <laughs> it's just amazing. It's amazing yeah, the things yeah. we do. So, you know, what are some of the, you know, it's, uh, um, um, what about things like baby monitoring and mm -hmm. all of this kind of thing that's going on. Yeah, now. that's a big um, priority for us is to keep all our babies safe. And, you know, you, you do hear in the news occasionally where there's infant abductions. Mm -hmm. So we have our babies all have a monitor device on them so that if they're taken out of the hospital, the alarms, alarms go off, just, the doors wow. close. and. So it's pretty remarkable. Pretty remarkable mm -hmm. stuff. Because now, you know, a lot of the babies now are spending a lot of time with the families in the room. Yeah, right. They're, they're supposed to be at all times in the room with the family. See, that's different from when I was growing yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, I, I'll think about when I was growing up, my mom and dad were smoking and yeah. drinking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, exactly. we got a boy. Pass me another drink there. <laughs> Is that a cigarette? Yeah, yeah. please. I'll have one. True. That explains a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, wow, so, so having the family, it's like, it's like it's almost the entire family, it seems like the entire family's in the room. Oftentimes, almost. yeah. We do have a limit, though, for how many people can come in the room. But, um, yeah, uh, oftentimes after, though, delivery, there's a lot of people in the room. There's a lot. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's celebrating, yeah. having a good time. Mm -hmm. and so, well, I, I've been there, done that. I try to, to encourage families to just, you know, back off. Let mom have some time with the baby by herself. She needs to get used to things, and and uh, she needs to rest. So I'm gonna ask, and I think these are. If you can't answer these questions, you can say, okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cut this one off. What's the longest delivery? Longest the the delivery. longest, like someone was in labor. Oh, you know, like yeah. 24 hours. Longer. No, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it can go on and on for a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> well, so much for decreasing the population of Hawaii. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. Wow. Well, what's the shortest? Oh, the shortest. <laughs> when they're like, winning yeah. them in the room. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we get a lot of that, yeah. Oh. Do you see pregnant women while they're in labor and delivery that they kind of change their who they are <laughs> the longer that they have been in labor. Are you talking yeah. Jack and Hyde? Well, yeah, something like that. Nice do they again? change personalities while they're mm -hmm. while the labor goes on? Do they do some of them get a little bit cranky? Do other of the women be nice and oh this is No, for the most part grow, um, it for yeah, for the most part personality changes when you're in labor and you get closer to the end where it hurts so much, but um, you know, a lot, a lot of our yeah. mothers now. Mothers do. You know, most of them are pretty good. Good. Yeah. Good. They're they're they helpful, be. supportive. You know. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but um, uh, a lot of uh, women nowadays they'll get an epidural, so right. So you don't see that wild. They don't. Cranky they behavior. have that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember when my grandson number one was born, and my daughter was like almost at the end, and she said, oh, I'm tired, I'm done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the baby wasn't even out yet. <laughs> and I went, what? <laughs> Did she can do that? <laughs> and the nurse, the nurses in there went, no. <laughs> You're not done. <laughs> You're not done yet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. So, so thinking about this, what is the, um, um, the exciting aspects of what you do? I mean, I mean watching yeah. 15,000 to 20,000 lives enter this world, mm -hmm. It's got to be in and of itself. You can't explain it. Right. But what else is you know makes I it so I think just uh, just um, 
having that privilege to be, you know, in the room with the mom, the dad, and the doctor. And it's just this little cohesive group mm -hmm. bringing this life into the world and uh, knowing that those parents are going to remember that for the rest of their lives. Right. The baby might not. Yeah, right. But um, that's just a kind of a remarkable feeling <laughs> to be part of that experience with now, people. Yeah, and this is another question I, don't, I never thought of asking you to just now. It's like, um, have you been involved in the, um, of, of anyone that you know has now become a famous person? Like, I don't, not that you follow uh, every baby or yeah. whatever, but I just thought that's of it now. It's like, it's a good it's like, oh, yeah, well, I happen to know the first astronaut. Now, I'm dating you, but that's not true. But <laughs> <laughs> that would make you 150. So, Gosh, <laughs> I'm sure I have, but I don't really know. You don't really know. No. Fact, you don't want to know. Yeah. yeah I, uh, mm, well. Taking care of, you know, people who are well-known. Okay. So, so, and I've helped them with their births, well, but... That's it. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're winding down, so we've got to move real mm -hmm. quickly. So um, in less than 30 seconds, most ex um, advice to anyone who wants to get into the business? Oh, just keep at it. Just If you have to take just one class at a time, do it. Don't give up. Yeah, and it's a wonderful career. It is. I mean, you know, my wife's really, a nurse, mm -hmm. and she loves it, and mm -hmm. it's just wonderful. And just remember it's a wonderful career, mm -hmm. and, and don't get an entitlement and attitude <laughs> once you've been in there. And that's another yeah. conversation. <laughs> that's another program. That's another, <laughs> another program. Anyway, uh, Mary, thank you so much for coming on the show. You get uh, autographed solo cup number 110 in the series. All right. The first one autographed by the Funmeister. Uh -huh. But I'd get him to give you a check instead of this <laughs> cup. <laughs> anyway, well, I want to thank everybody for joining us. Uh, Rick Smauer, my new uh, uh, co-host in trading. Mary Maurer, BSN, great Great career. Thank you so Thank much. You. Angus loves you to death. Mm -hmm. Anyway, like we say at the end of every, end of every show, one, <laughs> two, three. How, How you doing? doing?